So today we're going to show you how to build a simple and cheap hay feeder for goats or calves, just like this. So I have my hubby here helping today. Build. Helping? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I have Hubby here today and he's going to be building it. See, I've already taken a, line, a marker and drew a line around the bottom of that. So that way it gives you, an in, you know, where to cut that. Yeah, that's a good idea. I learned that from making that one to this one. It's like, yeah, that'd be a better assistant. And to get these screws out, you'll need a T40 Torx bit. And it says T40, T40. on. Yep. Yeah, we had to buy a whole tool kit to get yeah, it. Yeah, we had to buy a, yeah, the tool kit to get the right size because nobody carries just a T40. Waste in this area. Alright, get those taken out. You want to pull the rods out, of course. Don't throw them away. Easy way to do this. Lay it down. Pull this thing out. This one has a screw in it on the one side and So I got that removed. Well, next step, grab your old saws on. We get to do some cutting here. Basically, you want to cut yeah. these right here, um, basically one square up along the side. So once you get all of them cut along the side like that. You want to start on the corners here. So, but be sure not to cut the bottom one or the very top one. So let's get that done right quick. Now you want to put your bars back in. The reason why you want the bars back in is because we're going to start pushing in the sides and that way the, it keeps the top where it's supposed to be. I need one more piece of equipment. Just a regular old piece of pipe that I use, black pipe. You can use whatever you have laying around. If everything will cooperate, you'll want to bend this in just a little bit. Like that so you can start getting them around behind here if you get one you can usually get the rest of them to slowly go it's like that So it's probably the toughest step of the whole thing. Yeah. You always have at least one or two of them that want to fight you. And now that popped that side over there off. That might work. There we go. 
works pretty good if you stick a 2 by 4 in there to where you can kind of hold that so it's not, you don't want it to come back out all the time. There we go. We'll, do, we'll leave that one work that for right now. Start on the other side. so they don't catch everywhere. And since I leave these long like this, you really don't have to leave both sides, but leave one side long. So that way you can stick them in there like that like this some like that to where they intertwine here at the base this this is old electric fence wire that been around for a good many years but I use it a lot to fix fence and do projects like this. And what I'll do is I'll go across, wide, across an angle like that where I'm catching this bar plus this, these three bars basically. Just like that. And then I'll go around twice and then pull it tight and twist. Give it one good twist that way. That's one. I'll do each end and then probably I may do two in the middle here. Okay, so he has all the wire on there. Now he's just tightening it up. And so now he's adding them, adding wire on the side. Yep. I'll add here and here, and then I'll add two over there. I think that kind of gives it a little bit of strength. The bars on this side didn't quite line up as nicely as they did on the other side. But to me, that feels pretty sturdy. Back yes. to being pretty sturdy again. Once you get it all tied up, it is very sturdy. So next, it's time to cut the extra bar of each one. When your batteries are about to run out and you've only got two left to cut. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. Oh, yay. So next we take off the valve. See if I've got enough juice. Completely dead. Not gonna do it with that battery. Rinse it off. There we go. 
it yeah. is complete. So how easy was it, do you think? Probably say probably about a two and a half on a five scale. The worst part would be to bend these, get your corners around to get them in there. You can mm -hmm. fight with them things, but other than that, it's fairly simple to do. It just takes a little strength to do that, but yeah. other than that. Oh, and the reason why we leave these here is to kind of hold the hay in. Because if you cut them off here, well, then you've got this big open area where the hay, hay could fall out. And then, too, by doing that, you can tie it right here, and it, like, gives it extra strength. Yeah, it gives it extra strength. Because we have seen somewhere somebody did cut these off, and you could do that if you wanted to, to make it easier to bend in. But yeah. then it would be, and then in our opinion, a lot weaker as far as um, the sturdiness, sturdiness of it. A couple of hours and we've had this thing done. Mm -hmm. So it's really not all that hard.